Welcome to Scripting 3, where you can learn all about JavaScript in short tutorials around three minutes or less. Today we're going to be talking about um, reversing an array. And in this case here, we can see the aim is that we have uh, an array that going from one, with elements going from 1 to 5, and then what we're aiming for is to change that so it's going from 5 to 1. So I want to point something out. Uh, I'm in the console here, uh, the browser console. And I've got this uh, array declared, uh, one, two, and three, and then I'm going to console dot that array. So when I hit enter and expand this, um, we have the elements listed here, and then we have this proto on the bottom here. So this array has attached to it uh, some other methods. And those methods are listed here. And we scroll down, and one of the uh, listed methods is reverse. So we have a, a built into that array already, attached to that array already, is this reverse uh, function here. So if I open up the uh, JS bin here, then, so this, uh, we're going to return this reverse array, or, or uh, going to console log, log this reverse array, and we're going to use the original array and use the reverse method on that. So then when I click run, in our console log log, we can see the reversed array is this 5 to 1, as we expected. But then we can see that the original array has been modified as well. So this is one thing about the reverse uh, method, uh, native method for arrays, is that it will reverse the array within the same memory space. So if you call the reverse on there, your original array will be modified. And this may not be the uh, outcome that you're expecting. Therefore, I have another option here in ES6, and uh, this will essentially make a new array and then reverse it, and will leave the original array uh, unmodified. So here we have the spread operator along with the original array inside a new array here, and then we're reversing that new array and not modifying the original array. So when I run this, we can see that the spread array is reversed, but the original array remains unmodified. Now it may be that you're not uh, not able to use ES6 for whatever reason. So here we have um, the same approach, but instead we're using reduce. Unlike reverse, reduce doesn't modify the original, uh, original array. So here we have a couple of arguments, an accumulator, and then each item in the array. And then uh, this is the accumulator, declare the accumulator here as a new uh, a new array, and then for the accumulator, we're unshifting, so that's pushing into the front the, each uh, each item, and then we're returning the accumulator. So as you would expect, the reduced array is reversed as we wanted, and then the original array remains unmodified. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and like, and leave comments uh, below. Thank you for watching.